So we have authors available here. I'm going to click add new. And I'm going to enter Jeffrey Zeldman. He was the author of the first book that we added to the site. Now we're creating our author, you'll notice that the editor area has completely disappeared. When we went to the pods admin and we edited our author and we unchecked the editor box, we removed the main area completely. This gives us a little more flexibility. With the bio area, we can have more control over exactly how many characters are entered. It doesn't make a huge difference, but it does give us a little bit of added control. So what I'm going to do now is head to Google and I'm going to grab an image for Jeffrey Zeldman's photo and I'm going to grab a short bio as well. Okay, so a quick Google search for Jeffrey Zeldman produces some images that I can borrow and it also produces a little biography from Wikipedia that I can borrow as well. So on my author page for Jeffrey Zeldman, I can click add photo. I can borrow that image and I can enter the bio inside there. So, so far so good. If I go ahead and click on publish, I should be able to see my new author profile page on the site. What I'm going to do to complete this process now is actually see if I can link these items together. So I'm going to go back to my dashboard. I'll go to the pods admin and edit the pods. And I'm going to edit the authors pod. And I'm going to click add field. And the label that I'm going to choose in this case is books written. Now, there's a few other ways to say this. We could call it bibliography, for example. But this essentially is going to be a list of the books that he's written. And for the field type, I'll choose relationship. And when it comes to related to, I'm going to choose books because those are the things that we're going to want to choose from. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and click add field. I'm going to go ahead and click Save Pod. And as you may be familiar with now, the final step that we need is to actually add that new field to our template so that people can see the content. So I'm going to go to Components and Templates. I'll click Edit for Author Template. Let me go ahead and do the same H3 trick that we used before. I'll say books written by, and I'll automatically pull in the post title there. And you'll see that from the content that's being pulled in, there's a whole variety of content. I'm going to choose the post title but it's possible to automatically pull in the actual content, the date, and all sorts of other content from the books that he's written. So let's go ahead and save that now that we have some example content being pulled in automatically from the books. Now I'm going to go back to authors. I'm going to edit Jeffrey Zeldman and where it says books written down at the bottom, I can choose automatically from the books that I have on my site. He wrote designing with web standards. So I can go ahead, click update, click view author. And there we go. There's one of the items that he's written. What I could do is go back to my template and pull in the actual URL and make this an active link so that if I click on designing with web standards I actually go to the page about the book designing with web standards. What I would do if I wanted to 
actually add a link dynamically to this is of course go back to the templates and add the link as we added the image using just a little bit of advanced HTML. So if I go back to the template, what I'm going to do here is pull in and this is a little bit counterintuitive and the name is not quite as straightforward as some of the other items. We're going to pull in the G UID. That's basically going to be the permalink or the URL. And this is what we'll do. We're going to add a href and we're going to add a link that's going to be around the post title and then we'll close it off and that should do the trick. This tag here is going to automatically pull in the URL which is going to link to the book that Jeffrey Zeldman or any of our other authors has written. If I click update and if I go back to the author page it should now be automatically linked and there's designing with web standards. So we've now managed to add an active link to the books that are being pulled in for Jeffrey Zeldman. If I click on designing with web standards it's going to take me to the page about the designing with web standards book. One thing to notice before we close is that fields that we haven't filled in will still appear on the page. We would need to write some slightly more complicated code using PHP to hide fields if they're empty. One easy solution is to make them all required um, but we added the cost and the reviews and the book image for the second book but we didn't add it for designing with web standards so we'd have to go back and fix this. But hopefully the process we've gone through here is going to give you a good indication of what's possible with pods. Not only can you create multiple custom content types with their own taxonomies, basically their own categories and tags, but you can start to use them in an interlinked way using the relationships field.